This is Randy Thompson. I'm coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Melody. And Trudy wanted to work on more of a connection today. She called it getting the horse round, you know, rainbow in the neck, which is, for those who know it, a horse that's ridden properly will appear to have a rainbow in its neck. This is not because of a headset. It's because of the horse stepping up into it. So to do this, whenever Trudy feels Anna Melody pulling on a rein, she has to supple her jaw, going back to the steps of connection where you loosen the jaw, loosen the pole, loosen the neck, and as a result, the horse steps up into the ring connection differently, which is new to Miss Melody. This is, uh, we might have had 10 lessons where we've actually worked on putting her in connection, so it's taken us four or five years to get her to this point of relaxation. She is a hot, nervous, and very complicated horse. So we're very excited with the changes she's been doing. Good, take your time. That's good, good. Now slow her down until you feel her shoulders coming up. So you're almost gonna think of a passage trot. Tell me when you feel her sitting down. Slower. Slower. Okay, slower. There, feel her shift back. Now you're going to do a medium trot, but keep her sitting back. So keep her, keep her shoulder up and ask her for more gas. And she might only be able to give you three or four steps at first. Keep the gas. Keep the gas. Keeping her up. Keep her up. More gas. Good. More gas. Get her to, There you go. There you go. And now slow her down to that more collected kind of trot. And of course, she's nowhere near a collected or a medium trot yet, but the words are what we use to get the riders to try different things. That's it. Slower until you feel her shoulder lift up. <clears throat> so you slow your horse, slow down the front end until the horse's shoulders come up and then the back end can catch up. Good, good. Now I ask her to step up from behind with this. Tap with your leg. Tap, tap. Keep her up in the shoulders. Keep her up in the shoulders by keeping her soft. Good. Keep her up in the shoulders. Yes. Do you feel the difference? So all she's doing to keep her up in the shoulders, it looks so easy when, when Trudy does it, is she's suppling the jaw the same way, but she's holding her reins up differently to keep Melody up higher in her shoulders where Melody normally would drop on her forehand. She's built downhill. Good, good. How does that feel? Good. Now it's change direction, simple change of rein through the, through the circle, and pick different places to do it at now. Like right there, you felt her fall apart, right? So what do you have to do there? You slow down the front end until the back end catches up. Slow down the front end until you feel her pick up your seat. And then ask her to give you more power from behind. Slow down the front end until she picks you up. Add more gas until she picks you up behind. Yep, more gas. Slow down the front end, soften it more so she becomes more supple. And then add more gas to get her to shorten her body. Slow down the front end, supple her 10 times as much. Good, good. Supple her more until she gets loose like a noodle up there. Yep, and we're just getting her to soften to the ring connection. So at first, when you're first doing this with a horse, you might see more head movement than you will later on. Of course, you don't see a lot with Trudy, but that's it. She's going to pick up a canter here. Take your time. Supple. Is she on the outs? Yep, play with your outside rein. You can go off whatever size, whatever you need to do. Again, it's taken us four years to get Mila to, to even canter on both on the same lead. She had a lot of issues. She used to bolt and gallop madly around the ring. In fact, she wasn't safe to canter the first two years after she came back from a trainer. Good, take your time. Just play with it, it's just a game. That was nice, Trudy. Take your time, that's exactly what she needs. She has to stay focused on you. So with a horse that's relearning how to canter like this one is, like I said, she just, for the first two years, she couldn't canter the same lead on the back end. It does take time. I expect it'll be, it won't be until next year where she'll be consistently able to keep her lead on both sides. And this uh, is just something that happens with some horses. That's it, supple her. That's good, Trudy, take your time. Again, when they're first learning how to stay connected, the horse's head is going to go up. It's going to go down. The neck is going to get stiff. The back is going to get stiff. The horse is going to break gait. All of this stuff happens. It's just part of the process. And Good for you. You're feeling it. So Trudy's feeling there. Their outside rein wasn't supple enough where she wasn't loosening the jaw. That's great. You're feeling it. That was perfect. She's making me sit up and two point, but I was trying really hard to get her to supple, but she didn't want to supple. Well, she won't want to, so you've got to ask her to. She, it's not that she doesn't want to. She doesn't know what it is. 
So this is new for Miss Melody to actually stay soft in the canter. I think we've cantered her on connection and lessons less than eight times. So she is really new at learning how to stay balanced in the canter. And it is a mental game for, for Melody. And I don't say that in a negative way at all. She was, she is a very complicated horse. But you can see she's now not on her front end. So she's willing, becoming willing. And it's taken us many years to get her to a point where she's a willing horse. Very nice. When you feel her falling apart, put her in a trot. Change directions. Ask her to stay soft. That's right. That's all right. Praise her a lot. She can't hold it long. That's the way it should be right now. So it's okay because she's giving you a softer canter. She's staying more relaxed. She's staying more on your aids than ever. So it's just something you're going to slowly build up. She probably won't get her real canter until next year. So you know. If she's pull that if she's pulling that long against your outside rein, you're holding too long. I'm just trying to hold and give and hold and give and she's not giving. Then you have to be more uh give dropper. You have to let your either rich let your rein loose so she drops she so you drop her or you've gotta pick her up where she gets off of it. Yeah, yeah, you can't pick her up. She's really strong. Okay, then just drop her for a step just so you're not holding her because there's nothing you're doing wrong. She just doesn't know what you want her to do. And for years she just braced against the bit. We've got her back in a snaffle this year, but for the first couple of years we went to a double bridle simply because she wasn't safe. And it's just, you know, it's something horrible. That's where you... F That's right, soften her outside jaw a lot more. Soften her outside jaw until she picks up her shoulder. Tell me when she picks up her shoulder. Good. Get her to do it more. Woo. It's all right. It's all right. I know I'm two pointing, but it's on Doesn't my matter if you're two pointing I right have now. To right now, in order to play it, with her mouth quite much. It doesn't matter if you have to two point right now. Trudy has a background with hunters, so it's easier just, for her to go yeah, into I a two point. It's okay, Trudy. So when you first do it, it's hard to teach a horse how to canter and balance. Balance to stay there. Or the knowledge. And, but I was good when I let her go. It's like she just felt like, oh shoot, she's not holding me. <laughs> well, that's what she would prefer. Annie, or and Mel, yeah, Melody would like it if you went along on a loose rein, but you know, then she just goes out of control. So oh, we, no, I know. I mean, I wasn't leaving her on a loose rein. I know you weren't. So now if she leans that long, you're just going to drop the rein and pick it up again. Just asking for a mini stretch. And if she starts going on her front end, just bring her to a trot. You're just going to find, because now your focus is, where's her balance? If she loses it, you're going to change her gait and ask for it again and praise her a lot. It's just a game. It takes a thousand times to change anything. That's it. Good. Suppler on the outside. Too much inside rain. Got to let go on the inside, Rain. That's all right. That's all right. Change gate. When she gets that way, change gate and change directions. Change gate. Change directions. Change directions. As soon as she starts getting fussy, you just change the game. That's it. Now try it the other way. So as soon as she gets fussy, you're just going to change directions and change the game. Again, there's nothing that Melody is doing wrong. She's learning a different balance and a different connection. We expect her to fall apart. We expect her to do all kinds of weird things because this is really hard. You could hear Trudy say this is hard. This is hard. It takes a lot of discipline from the rider to just sit there and allow the horse to make mistakes. Take your time. And when she falls apart again, you just change directions and go the other way. Yeah, she does. She shuts down. Good. Supple her on the outside. It's 
So going back to the canters, most riders on a horse that's unbalanced can make it three minutes if they're lucky because it's a lot of work. So when you try this with your horse, if you get to the three minute mark and you're breathing really heavy and you're thinking you're tired, you probably are tired. You might only make it a minute and a half on an unbalanced horse at first and that's pretty normal. If you have to do two point, just do your two point. It's easier on the horse's back and a lot of riders are more secure in it anyway. It takes a very accomplished rider to ride a green horse into a more balanced horse at this level and to be able to sit it like in a dressage saddle. So don't expect too much from yourself. Think leg yield! Again, you can watch more of Trudy and Melody's progress by going to the playlist area of this YouTube channel, Randy Thompson Live. And you can see their history for the past four years. That was very good. Let her walk. That was good. That was good. That was good. You were just on. That was like 10 minutes of trotting and cantering. That's a lot. 